Cold of winter is a challenge for most living things, but viruses thrive when the temperature drops. Flu season is always during the winter and COVID cases in the US peaked in January. But why? Here's our why guy. While you're bundled up next to your trusty space heater, a whole host of viruses are living it up. Plants wilt, bugs go into hiding, but many viruses thrive during the winter months. It's the subject of intense study as scientists search for reasons why, and we're going to share some of what they've learned. In the South, the saying each summer is, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. For viruses, it's the cold of winter and the humidity. In the winter months, we have the humidity going down and the viruses will, you know, remain uh, viable longer up to a certain point. Ultraviolet light can damage a virus. In the winter, the sun's UV power is weakened. We also spend more time indoors during the winter where viruses have an easier time spreading. Dr. Mark Tompkins of the University of Georgia Center for Vaccines and Immunology tells us while there's no scientific proof, the cold may impact the outer shell of viruses like influenza and the coronavirus. As you reduce the temperature, that does, you know, it moves the uh, lipids move less, so maybe it does stabilize the virus. It's not like viruses disappear during the warmer months. The H1N1 swine flu thrived during the summer of 2009. Coronavirus cases were on the increase in the United States last July and August. Dr. Tompkins says it has more to do with the number of people who are either vulnerable or spreading illness. He has this to say about our battle with COVID when this spring and summer arrive. If we don't vaccinate well and we don't control the infection, then we will see it stay maybe at a lower level, but it's not going to go away. When it's time to trade that jacket for a swimsuit, it doesn't mean it's time to put the mask away. <laughs> Those graphics get me every time.